Instagram fam, it's your girl Crystal aka Curly Chris and I'm so excited for today's video. I really wanted to do something dedicated to black owned businesses because they need a lot more credit than they deserve and we should support our own people. So in today's video I am doing just that. I am dedicating this entire video to black owned businesses and I'm going to be trying products that I've never tried before and also some companies that I've never tried before but as of recent I realized that they are what well, I was told or informed that they were a black owned business so I went and picked up some products so as you guys can see the setting is different in today's video and that's because I am at home in New Orleans this is actually my old bedroom that I am filming in so I am here for a little while and of course the content must still continue so if you are new to your girl's channel make sure to do one thing for your girl and that is to smash that button down below okay smash that button down below thank you so much for tuning in i am so happy to have you here also if you are here guys since we are on the topic of black owned businesses i myself am also a black owned business so it would mean so much if you guys could like this video make sure you subscribe and also comment and engage with my video because i'm not sure if you guys know but the main way that i get paid and make my money is off of you guys engagement and also you guys sharing my video interacting with my video youtube promotes videos more whenever they see a certain amount of engagement on that video so support me as well while i am supporting these other black owned businesses by watching the ads clicking on the ads not skipping through the video watch the video and also interact with the video if you do get an ad click on the ad close that bad boy right on out if you're not interested but just go ahead and engage with my video as well a little bit more today and i truly do appreciate it also have those notifications turned on so yeah let's go ahead and hop into the true details of today's video and what black owned products we are going to be using okay so i'm so excited for this video you guys i since i am at home in new orleans um and this city is so, it's like so full of like culture and everything. So I was like, man, I really do want to do a black owned, uh, black owned business video where I'm using only products from black owned businesses. So I went to my local beauty supply store, the one I, I always went to growing up as a child. It just felt so good to go over there and to be purchasing these products. So this is the bag that I picked up and you already know it's a beauty supply store when the bag says thank you, thank you, thank you. I have never tried any of Aunt Jackie's products on my hair at all. Um, I got the Oh So Clean Moisturizing Shampoo. This is what it looks like. So I'm excited about this bad boy because I have never tried this brand at all. And y'all, why as soon as I bought this product, my mama was asking me what I bought. Y'all, look what she got. This woman has too many size versions of what I just now purchased. So, I was really thinking, of like, should I go bring this back and get a different black on <laughs> a different uh, product to use? But anyway, I'm going to still use it because I've never tried it on my hair, which is the whole purpose of this video. But I may still use the mini sizes and just bring it out and get something else because why not? For my conditioner, I am going to be using the Talia Wajid, also another brand that is black on that I've never used. I want to use this line so bad. I'm going to be using the mask. This is the Repair and Restore Hair Strengthening treatment mask with shea butter honey and banana if you don't know banana is really good for the hair um i'm really excited about this one i feel like it's gonna have so much slip let me look and see i don't know about oh it don't really it don't smell all that great like it smells like shea butter honestly but i hope it does have slip because y'all know i love me some slip okay so we're gonna try this then as the styler so I was so excited to try this Coils by Nature. I have never even used this product. I rarely ever heard of this brand. So when I saw their name on the list of 100% black owned beauty brands, I had to pick this up. This is the moisturizing shea aloe leave in conditioner with argan oil. Like I feel like this out of all the products, I'm mostly excited to try this brand. Um, also, they are a little bit on the pricier side. This 
12 ounce was $16.99 at the beauty supply store. I also did a little bit of research on their brand and I saw the owner and she had like locks or sister locks or something like that. I don't know if that was the owner or not, but that she was on the Instagram page. And I was like, ooh, I know these products probably got some a whole lot of slip and it probably be bomb. So I decided to pick this up. Um, I also watched a review on YouTube on their products and so many people love the leave-in conditioner and their curls like they were popping so I was like I'm gonna try this out. For styling I'm going to be using the Allocate Naturals Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. What I really wanted to do with this video is I did not want to get more than one product from one brand. I wanted to switch it up so I got this is Allocate Naturals and this one is a hair moisturizer so I'm gonna use it for I think I'm gonna do a braid out. That's what I'm kind of feeling right now. Like, I think I'm gonna do a braid out for this video. Um, it smells so good. It is truly like a butter, so y'all know I love this. Um, and then as an oil, I didn't pick up an oil, but I do have my Kinky Trusses oil with me. So I may just use that oil um, if I feel like I need it to seal, which I'm pretty sure I will. So yeah, I'm excited about today's video, y'all. So let's go ahead and hop into the shower and let's get right to it so we can see just what these products going to do on this black on hair. Okay, sis? Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's get into it. So first and foremost, I was so happy that I was able to be at home because like I was able to use this shower head because I loved it. I was like, I need to go ahead and give me one of these. Um, so of course I am drenching my hair in water because that is the first step to any good wash day. You gotta have water for that moisture. And y'all can tell it was nice and warm because everything was falling up, okay? So now I'm gonna go in with my shampoo. And the shampoo, y'all, really, really does smell good. Like I'm just like, okay, this smells good. So this is my uh, attempt at applying it just to my roots. <laughs> Y'all know that never works for me. I can never just apply something to my roots. So it just ends up, you know, going pretty far down. So after I apply it to my quote unquote roots, I then go ahead and moist, I just massage that product into my scalp so that I am able to deeply cleanse. And I keep on massaging that product in y'all until I feel like it's good enough. Now about this shampoo, I really did enjoy this shampoo. It didn't strip my hair extremely, but my hair did feel like good afterwards. And the lather was great. It actually gave my hair a good amount of definition, which I was actually shocked about because I wasn't expecting it to like give me definition. But it actually did. Like it actually also cleansed my scalp. Like it might I was my scalp was not itchy or anything. I wanted to separate my hair into sections because I, I you, you know typically I just shampoo, you know, in two sections, but I separated it more because I really did want to get a good clean on my scalp. And this product was like bound for that. Like my hair, y'all can see like it defined my hair, which I thought it was kinda like I was like, okay, a little two in one, a little, you know, a little cleanse, a little, a little definition. We ain't gonna complain. So I most definitely did enjoy that. Um, as far as the detangling, you guys know I don't typically detangle with shampoos, but I do. I can typically feel when it is doing something like that's allowed me to detangle. And this one I didn't get that feel, but I most definitely got definition that I was not expecting. Like just look at my hair right here. I was like, where did definition came from? Okay, I like this. So I do like this shampoo and I actually have used it twice since this video so I was feeling the shampoo for sure so now I'm gonna go into the conditioning process so I'm going to use the um, this conditioner I already spoke about now let me start to tell you guys about this conditioner okay at first or this mask at first when I put this on my hair you guys can see my face like I wasn't too too impressed because it didn't give me that slip that I like and I kind of felt like it wasn't really moisturizing my strands like I needed it to. It was kind of like chalky a, a little bit. So it wasn't as much slip as I was expecting. Um, I was thinking I probably should have gotten a green apple one, an aloe one or something. That I feel like that one probably has like more slip to it. But I did like it after I rinsed it out, which you guys will see eventually. Um, so I just kept on massaging this into my scalp and then eventually I'm also going to detangle. And the detangling process also was kind of like a little bit longer than usual. Um, but it wasn't like terrible or anything. Like it most definitely did work as a detangler, of course. So I go ahead and split that section into two and now I'm going to detangle. So also with this detangling process, um, it's kind of sped up, but it most definitely, it was like, I'll give it like a seven out of 10 as far as like how my detangling processes usually are based off the conditioners that I use. But I did like the conditioner. I was happy I tried it out. I will use it again. 
um so then i went ahead and sat underneath the dryer for like 30 minutes and this is what really was a game changer as you guys can see my hair soaked up all of that product no hair is left on my head okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and rinse it out and it was it was nice okay it, it, it was nice so now I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner. And out of all the products, y'all, I feel like this leave-in was like a really banger for me, okay? I like this leave-in conditioner. It was a bit runny and watery, as you guys can see. Um, it was kind of runny and, you know, and all that. But it, look at that. It gave my curls a lot of definition. You say it was a leave-in conditioner. Like, I see a lot of people really do like this. I like it a lot, too. Um, so I highly recommend this leave-in conditioner. I'm also happy I like it because I never heard of Coils by Nature, so now it makes me want to try more of their products. I also wanted to try to show you guys that the product has like, it looks very earthy, but you guys couldn't really see off of this, but yeah. So if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest it. Now let's get into styling. Let's go ahead and get into the styling. I already told you guys my thoughts on the washing process. So let's get into the styling so this is the shea yogurt hair moisturizer that we're going to be using and then i'm going to be using the kinky trusses hair oil which you guys know i use this in almost every video because i love it that much and it's also a black owned business i did not get a chance to pick up the oil from the beauty supply store so i'm going to be using that one but everything else is new and i have not tried before um i should have bought this back and got an oil <laughs> but Let's go ahead and use this. This smells really, really good. The hair moisturizer smells really, really good. Um, I do think that it will be perfect, like perfectly paired with the leave-in conditioner because the leave-in was not too heavy, which is perfect because the hair moisturizer is, of course, thicker and it is the summertime, so we don't need anything really weighing our hair down. But y'all, look at the definition my hair has with that leave-in alone i think it looks really good okay this is kind of the consistency of the hair moisturizer it's like very buttery like very very buttery so y'all know i'm feeling that so i'm going to take a big chunk of this and apply it to the whole section so let's see what it looks like when we rub it together okay y'all it turns into like a cream so y'all know i'm loving that so it's like a cream type consistency. Ooh. All right, let's apply. Oh, yes. Most definitely a butter. More than a cream. Most definitely feels amazing on the curls. Look at that. That looks so good. I love that. So now I'm going to seal with the oil. I am going to use the Kinky Trusses oil because I do feel like whenever I'm using a butter like this, an oil is nice to seal. So, I think this is going to tie it all together. And we are doing a braid out. I'm taking my black owned pattern beauty brush, okay? I will say my hair is not as like, y'all know it's not as defined as I usually like for the product to make my hair, but I am using a butter versus a cream. So I'm not looking, I'm not expecting it to really define my curls like talking about. More so it's going to be moisturized and shiny when I take this style down. Of course when we do a braid out, we get towards the end and then we turn those three pieces into two. And then act as if we're doing a twist out. Bam. I kind of did more of a braid than twist. I should have went a little bit longer with the braid, but it's okay. And I am doing my braids a tad bit thicker. Look at that. You can't tell me my people ain't popping. You can't tell me. Oh, y'all. Also, so y'all know when how I did my mom's big chop, right? Like, I cut off all her relaxed ends. Well, not big chop, but she transitioned. I cut off all her relaxed ends. Let me know in the comment section down below. Drop a heart emoji or, like, the raising hand emoji if y'all want to see 
me do a twist out on her hair so you guys can see just how much her hair has grown since I cut her relaxed ends off. Alright guys, so I finished all the braids and they look really good. Um, these products all together worked so well in conjunction with each other on my hair. Everything is just like perfect and moisturized. Oh, I'm excited to see what it's going to look like when it's dry. I forgot my Africa's Best Edge Control. Um, so I most definitely need to go get some of that. But I'm going to see what edge control I have here. Or I may go get a black owned one. Alright y'all. So I actually ended up going back to the beauty supply store. And getting the edge control from a black owned business. Um, and I got the She Is Bomb Collection Fast Drying Edge Control for Relaxed and Natural Hair. So I have never even heard of this brand before. Which is even more so why I wanted to give it a try. It's called She Is Bomb. So... This is the edge control that we're going to use. Um, I'm really excited. I looked at the reviews online and apparently like it's really good for a good hold on hair. The consistency of this one. I'm going to show you guys. It's like very tacky. Comes off clear. Okay, so it's not black or anything. Comes off clear. But it's very, very tacky. So... Let's see how it applies just right here real quick. It don't even say to tie it up, but of course I'm going to tie mine up because that's what I always do. And I don't want to manipulate it too much because like if you manipulate an edge control a lot, it will turn into like a greasy formula that does not hold. But that looks so good. So I'm going to go into the rest and I'm going to tie them up and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. But she is bomb. Let's see if this is bomb. Another black owned business and a small black owned business. Well, I don't know if they're really small, but I just never heard of them. So, let's see. Alright, y'all. So, my hair is completely dry. It's been a long time coming, y'all. So, about this edge control. So, I had to reapply. So, what I did was first apply it when you guys saw me apply it. Then, I tied it up and I let it, like, dry while I had it tied up for, like, an hour. But when I took the scarf off... And I started applying my makeup, like, it started to lift a little bit and kind of, like, undo. So, after that, I had to reapply some more. Um, and then I tied it down again. And right now, it's behaving. But we're going to see what we think about this edge control, like, once everything dry. Like, once I finish taking my hair down. Um, and just see, like, if it's going to last just to take down and if it's not going to lift or whatever. Hopefully, it does not because... If, it's, if it is a good one, then I will do want to recommend this to you to you guys to try out. Because, once again, black owned. Um, so, I put some of the Kinky Tresses oil on my hands. But first, let me just show you guys what the braids look like now that they are dry. Oh, look at that definition, y'all. snap no I also want to just note that my hair is pretty shiny y'all like the shine is pretty nice I ain't gonna lie y'all sis do y'all see this hair Okay, if the ends ain't popping, the style ain't rocking. Do you hear me? And y'all, I haven't even fluffed yet. Do you hear me? So we about to fluff real quick. I just want y'all to see what these results look like. Because popping is his name, okay? Okay, y'all. So I finished fluffing and do y'all see this result? I can't even... OMG, it looks so beautiful. Look at that. Look how beautiful everything is. These black owned <laughs> brands did not come to play. And what I'm even more excited about is that they all work so well together in conjunction with one another. So what I like the hair moisturizer is perfect for all this shine. I just want y'all to, like, I hope y'all can really see how shiny and voluminous and lustrous my hair is. It feels so soft to the touch. 
I'm gonna try to zoom in so you guys can like maybe see a little bit more. But just look at all that shine, y'all. I wanna know what you guys think of my results in the comment section down below. I'm just so happy that I was able to buy black, support our people, support my people, and just get great popping results by doing that. All black owned. 100% sis, I'm popping. We are popping as a people, as a culture. Do you hear me? All right, so let me know what you guys think about these results in the comment section down below. Also, drop some more black owned beauty brands, hair care brands, natural hair brands in the comment section down below. Also, before you go, make sure to smash that button down below and join the Curly Chris fam. And also give me a thumbs up as well. And I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Peace.